Hey there, welcome to LC Yoga. My name is Laura and today's practice is a little faster. We're gonna speed things up, get nice and fit and in the flow. So if you're ready, get on your mat and I'll meet you there. We'll begin today at the top of the mat. So come to the front of your mat, feet about hip distance apart, bend into your knees and plant your feet and stand up out of that. So press into the ground with your feet. Let your shoulders roll back, your tailbone tucks just a little bit. Palms go forward, stand tall, mountain pose. Gazing forward or down at the floor in front of you. And just take a second here to start to deepen the breath and just arrive in your yoga practice. So just be here now. On your next inhale, sweep the arms out to the side and up toward the sky. Bend into the knees and fold forward. Take a couple of breaths here, just standing firm into your feet. Your knees are quite bent. We're not warmed up yet. Tailbone turning up toward the sky. Just let the head get heavy toward the ground. Just start to wake up the backs of the legs. And on your next inhale, halfway lift. So extend the crown of the head forward beyond the front of the mat. And then as you exhale, plant the hands, step back into a plank, and with the knees up or down, lower down. Inhaling into a cobra, so press all 10 fingertips into the ground and lift the chest. A little bit or a lot, your choice. Exhaling, curl the toes under, press up and back, hips high, downward dog. And take three big breaths here in downward dog. We're just doing a few sun salutations to start to wake up the body, warm up before we start to move a little faster. So take your time here. Knees can be bent. You can bend one knee and then the other. Press the chest through the shoulders, getting into the upper back. And then on your next inhale, step back to the front of the mat. Let the crown of the head reach forward as you lift halfway. Deep breath in, and then as you exhale, fold it in. Bend the knees and inhale, come on up to stand, reach high. And exhaling back to center. And we're going to do two more like that. Inhaling, sweep the arms out and up. Exhaling, fold it forward. Inhale, long spine. Knees can be bent. Exhaling, plant the hands, step back into a plank. Lower down, all the way down into a cobra. Inhaling. Exhaling, curl the toes under, hips up, downward dog. Three big breaths. Inhaling, press your fingertips into the ground. And as you exhale, let the hips go up and away from that. Maybe inhale and exhale into the back of each leg as you bend one knee and then the other. Move around as it feels good for you. And on your next inhale, come back to the front of the mat. Long spine, crown reaches forward. And exhale, fold it in. Inhaling, come back up to stand, reach high, get tall, and exhale it back to center. Hands in front of the heart. Last time, sun salutation A. Inhaling, sweep it up. Exhaling and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhaling to plank and all the way down to the ground. Inhale, cobra. 
exhale, downward dog. This time we're just going to take two breaths and downward dog. And we'll start to flow, inhaling your right leg up toward the sky. And as you exhale, step it in between your hands and lower your back knee. Come on up into a low lunge on Johnny Asana. You press your left hip forward. Use your front foot as a break as you press your back toes into the ground and let your chest go up between your shoulders up toward the sky. If your shoulders aren't happy today, feel free to rest your hands on your front thigh. Breathe and let the hips start to open. No crunching in the lower back. Deep breaths here. Now on your next exhale, bring the hands back down to the ground, framing your front foot and step right back into a downward dog. And we'll take that to the other side. So inhale, left foot up this time. And exhale, step it forward into a lunge, lower the back knee. Inhaling, come on up, reach up. Pressing the right hip forward this time, back toes press into the ground. Come up as high or go as low as it feels good in your lower back, no crunching. It's not what we're after here. Say hello sky while you're looking up. And then bring the hands down around the front foot, step back, downward dog. And let's take that into a little bit of a flow, one breath per movement. So inhale your right foot up. Exhale, step it forward and lower the back knee. Inhale, arms reach up, press your left hip forward. Exhale, hands around the front foot, step back, down dog. Inhale, the left foot up. Exhaling, step it. Back knee lowers. Inhaling, come up, low lunge. Exhale, hands around the front foot, step back, down dog. Keep it flowing. Inhale, right foot up. Exhale, step it. Lower the back knee. Inhale, low lunge. And exhale all the way into downward dog. Inhaling, left foot reaches up. Exhale, step it and lower the back knee. Inhaling, coming up. And exhale, all the way back to down dog, hips high. Last time each side, inhaling right foot up. Exhaling, step it. Lower the back knee, inhale, reach up, press the left hip forward. And exhale all the way back, down dog. Inhale, left foot reaches. Exhale, it steps. A low lunge on Johnny, right hip presses forward. And exhale, all the way down dog. Now breathe. Inhaling through the nose, out through the mouth. Now we're going to build on to that a little bit. So inhale your right foot up. Exhaling, step it forward into a lunge, lower the back knee. Come on up into your low lunge. Deep breath in, and then as you exhale, this time let your left hand go down by your front foot. Right arm reaches up, open twist. And we're gonna hang out here for just a few breaths. So press your back toes into the ground. Shoulder drops away from the ear. Press into your bottom hand and lift up out of that. A little bit of a back bend, using your front foot as a break. So come up out of it or go back down into it as much as it feels good. Breathe and open. And then swim that hand forward and frame your front foot with your hands. And then as you do that, your hips shift back, lift your front toes, and you're in a half split. Your knee can be bent here 
You want to inhale into a long spine. So press your chest forward. And then as you exhale, you can fold, but pull your hip back away from your front heel as you do so. So your torso is really going front to back. You're not pressing it down. Big difference there. But awesome stretch. Breathe into the back of right leg. And coming forward, lean into that front knee as it bends and then plant the hands and step it back, downward dog. Other side, inhaling left foot up this time. Exhaling and step it. Lower the back knee, come on up. Low lunge, reach up, deep breath in. And then as you exhale, right hand comes down, left arm up this time. Press back toes into the ground as the hips drop and press up and out of the right shoulder. Gripping the mat with your finger pads. Open the hips. Open the chest. If your shoulder is not super happy, you might want to grab the back of the, the head or the neck. That might help. If that doesn't work, place the hand on the front thigh. One more big breath here. And then as you exhale, swim that left hand forward, shift the hips back, left toes going up toward the sky, pulling your hips back as your chest goes forward, half split. Inhaling to get a long spine, and then exhaling to fold as your chest presses forward. But bend that knee as much as you need to so you're not rounding the spine. And then on your next inhale, come forward into that lunge, plant the hands and exhale it back to a downward dog. Now you guessed it, we're gonna do that one breath per movement. So inhale your right foot up. Exhaling, step it forward and lower the back knee. Inhaling, reach it up, low lunge. Exhale, left hand down, right arm up. Take a deep breath in here. And then exhale, pull the hips back, half split. Inhaling to come forward, bend into the front knee so you're in a low lunge with the hands around the front foot. And then exhale, step back down dog. Other side, inhaling, left foot lifts. Exhale, step it forward, lower the back knee. Inhaling on Johnny. Exhale, right hand down, left arm up. Inhale here as the hips drop. And then exhale, pull the hips back, half split. Inhale, leaning forward into a lunge. And then exhale, down dog. Inhale, the right foot up. Exhale and step. Lower down and reach up. Low lunge. Exhaling, left hand down, right hand up. Stay here for a big breath. And then exhale, pull the hips back. <sighs> Inhale, coming forward. Lift the heart. And exhale, down dog. <sighs> Left foot lifts, big breath in. Left foot steps, big breath out. Lower the back knee. Inhale, come up. Exhale to come forward, left arm up. Deep breath in, little baby back bend. And exhale, hips go back, half split. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, hips high, down dog. One more time each side, inhaling right foot up. Exhaling to step and lower. 
Inhale, reach. Exhale, left hand down, reach it up. Inhaling. And exhale, half split. Inhale, chest reaches forward, look up. And exhale, down dog. Left foot lifts, big breath in. Step it for a big breath out. Inhaling into low lunge, drop those hips. And exhale, right hand down, left hand up. Breathe it in, press your hips forward. And exhale, press your hips back. Inhaling, coming forward. Exhaling, pressing back. One more big breath here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through an open mouth. On your next inhale, reach the right foot up toward the sky. Exhale, step it forward into a lunge. Leave the back knee up this time. And we're going to come up into a high lunge. Inhale, reach it up. And we're going to hang out here for a couple of breaths. So press your left hip forward just as you do in a low lunge. Your hands can be on your front thigh. You don't have to reach them up. But if you want to, press your chest through your shoulders. Up and away from your back toes. Deep breath in here. And as you exhale, turn toward the left. Lower your back heel. When you're in a warrior two, as your arms reach out into a T-shape. And you're pressing your right knee out toward the right just a little. As you inhale, sweep into a reverse warrior. So your left arm goes down your back leg, right arm up. Side bend toward the left and look up. And lower down as much or as little as you want to in that front knee. Make sure it feels good, but a little challenging. And then come back to warrior two. Bring the hands down around the front foot and step back down dog. Left side, inhaling left foot up. And as you exhale, step it forward into a lunge. Inhale, coming up, high lunge. Pressing the chest up, right hip presses forward. That's where you get that great stretch, front of the hip. Kind of reverses all that sitting we do. Couple more big breaths here. Reach out your fingertips. Press your left knee just a little bit toward the left. And then your next exhale, turn toward the right, warrior two. Thighs reaching side to side, away from each other. Tailbone is tucked just a little. Crown of the head is reaching away, so the spine is super long. And then on your next inhale, sweep it into a reverse warrior. So as you do that, let your armpit go up and away from your back foot. Lean into that. An awesome stretch on the left side. And then come on back, warrior two. And then hands around the front foot, step back down dog. Enjoy a couple of breaths here. Press the fingertips into the ground, hips high. Pressing up and away. Backs of the legs feeling a little more open now, so press those heels toward the ground. They don't have to touch. And we'll take that flow one breath per movement, so right leg lifts up. Deep breath in. Step it forward and come on up high. Lunge as you take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, open up warrior two. And then inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, 
exhaling back to warrior two and all the way down and back to downward dog. Inhale, left foot up. Exhale and step. High lunge, come on up. Inhale, wobbling is allowed. <laughs> Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach up. And exhale back to warrior two and then all the way back to downward dog. Two more times like that. Inhale, reach the right leg up. Exhaling, step it. Coming up, breathe in. Turning into warrior two, breathe out. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, warrior two. And coming down, back to downward dog. Inhale, the left foot up. Exhaling to step it. Inhaling up. Exhaling, turn. Inhale, sweep it, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. And on down and back, down dog. One more time each side, inhaling the right foot up. Exhaling, step it forward. Inhale, sweep it up, press the left hip forward. Exhaling, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, return. And all the way down, hips high. Inhaling the left foot up. Exhaling to step. Inhaling, high lunge. Exhaling, turn. Inhaling, reverse. And exhale, come back. All the way down, downward dog. Deep breath in through the nose, exhale through the mouth. On your next inhale, come forward into a plank. And we're just gonna hang out here for five breaths. Press your fingertips into the ground. Press your toes into the ground. And let your heels and the crown of the head work away from each other. Deep breaths. Draw the core in toward the spine. One more breath here. On your next exhale, lower the knees and come back to a child's pose. Breathe and rest. And then on your next inhale, come forward all the way, dropping the hips into an upper dog. Now, if this doesn't feel good on the lower back, come back a little bit, lifting the hips. A couple of breaths here, stretching into the abdominal muscles, maybe rocking side to side. And then come back to a child's pose. And on your next inhale, come forward again. And if you're not, if you don't have side plank in your uh, practice, you may want to rest in child's pose. Skip this part or keep your knees on the ground as we do this. Lift up into a plank pose. And then turn your feet toward the right and side plank, reaching your right arm up toward the sky. You can look up toward that thumb or down at the ground in front of you. Or if you've got a camera, give me a shaka with that upper hand. <laughs> Big smile. And then swim that hand forward back into that plank and lift the hips into a downward dog. Woo. One more time on the right side. We're going to come forward into a plank. Turn the feet toward the left so your toes are facing left. And reach your left hand up, pressing all fingertips into the ground in the right hand. 
looking up or ahead of you, big breaths, and then swim that hand forward, downward dog. Now this time, lower the knees to the ground, walk the knees forward, and roll back onto your hips. Core section over. <laughs> it was a quick one today. So bottom of the feet together, knees out to the side, and we'll take a Baddha Konasana. So rock the hips back and forth. All hard work is over. We're just going to stretch it out now. You can press the fingertips into the ground and then the chest forward. Fingertips behind you helps you press the chest forward. Get that nice tilt at the hip instead of rounding the spine. Your body lets you in. Hands can come forward as you continue to press the chest toward the front of the mat. And just close your eyes here and breathe. And don't worry about what it looks like. And just let the hips open with each breath. And inch your fingertips forward. If you're coming deeper into the pose, if your body's letting you, no forcing. And then walk the hands up and stretch the legs out in front of you. Again, we're going to scoot the hips back. We're going to start with bent knees here so we can tilt the pelvis forward. Scooting the hips back helps us do that. You press your fingertips into the ground behind you and press your chest forward. And again, your knees can be significantly bent at first. You press your chest forward, you feel a good stretch. Hang out right here. This is your Paschimottanasana. Scoot the hips back if you feel like you need a little more stretch, and maybe the hands come forward. But again, we're pressing the chest forward, not rounding into this. We're not trying to get our chin or in our shin. We're trying to get our chest to our toes. Go that way. Such a better stretch. You can close the eyes. And again, just feel in your way into this. And as you breathe, your body will let you in a little more with every breath. Up to sit, scoot the hips forward, roll down onto the back, draw your knees in toward the chest. You can rock the knees side to side. Try to release any tension in the back. Go side to side, or maybe make circles with the knees. Go one direction, then the other. And then bring the feet to the ground, stretch your legs long out in front of you. We'll take a nice Shavasana, so let the feet flop open, hands flop open, palms to the sky, snuggle the shoulders under. Close the eyes, take a deep breath in, and let it out through an open mouth. Just sigh it out. And let everything sink into the floor. We've been super bossy with the breath during this practice, so now we're just going to let it go. Let it do whatever it wants. Release all the muscles into the floor. Let the earth hold you up because there's nothing you need to do now. A lot of times in modern yoga, we skip Shavasana because think it might be a waste of time, but it's actually when your body begins to integrate what it's learned. And it teaches your mind how to relax your body. It's really a skill we all need to practice. 
And just let everything sink. You can stay here as long as you like, just absorbing this energy. When you're ready, start to bend into the knees. Plant the feet on the ground, knees up to the sky. And bring your hands to your upper thighs, knocking your knees together. Start to deepen the breath. And draw your knees in toward the chest, give them a little squeeze. And then make your way on up to sit. Find a comfortable seat in half lotus or simple cross-legged, whatever's comfortable. The crown of the head reach up toward the sky, backs of the hands to the knees and close the eyes. We'll just end it with a little gratitude. Thank yourself for taking time to step on your mat. Thank you for your body for letting you do so. And thank your breath for leading the way for it is everything. Namaste. Thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed today's class, come find me over on lcyoga.com. There you'll find all kinds of content that doesn't exist here on YouTube. With a 30-day free trial, you'll find commercial-free, complete beginner series, intermediate flows, workshops, at-home retreats, challenges, lots of stuff to help you grow and expand your practice. Start your 30-day free trial at lcyoga.com and I'll see you there.